Hey guys, my name is Shallon, and I am here to help you with all the questions you might have about love, lust, romance, and everything in between. For more, visit me on Twitter at Downtown Shallon, or be sure to check out my website, shallononline.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very important to be a good kisser. If you're a bad kisser, whoever it is you're making out with is going to assume that you are bad at everything else when it comes to hooking up. And you know what? They are going to be right. I have very, very rarely experienced a bad kisser who was good at anything else. So, make good kissing the foundation of your sexual repertoire. But how, Shallon, how, you say? So glad you asked and so glad I have a cupcake to demonstrate on. The golden rule of kissing is that lips are the main course and your tongue is the side dish. Think about this. You want more lips and a little bit of tongue. We've all kissed people who are like, tongue, 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 and it's like mouth kissing the Cocker Spaniel. Nobody wants to do that. Also make sure that your tongue does not hit the person's mouth before your lips do. So you're not gonna go in like this. God, that makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. You want lips first, then tongue, okay? So what kind of tongue is best? I've also kissed people who just let their tongue flop there like a piece of meat, not sexy. Here's how to know if your tongue is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Say this, la 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 la, just like that. About that sound, about that speed, la 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 la. The tension that your tongue has is just about the kind of tension you should have when you're kissing someone. If it's too sharp and pointy, oof, it's gonna feel like someone's jabbing the inside of their mouth. But if it's too lax, oof, then it's gonna feel like they're making out with I don't even know what. Something they don't want to make out with. Let's just leave it at that. So let's put these theories into action, shall we? Okay. The frosting here is your lover's mouth. You don't want to go in too hard, like this. Uh, see what that does? Do you see what I did to this cupcake with that horrible tongue? That's bad. Nor do you want to go in too soft. Whoa. Look what I did to myself. Neither one of these is acceptable. In any case, someone's getting messed up. The cupcake or my mouth, not good. Ooh, but it is good, it is pretty delicious. You know, I like kissing this cupcake more than I like kissing my last three boyfriends, true story. So here's what you should be doing. Gently, gently, gently. Kiss, go in. Mmm. Lips. Mmm. Tongue. Little bites. Oh, that's so good. Oh, last five boyfriends, last five. This, this is winning. So you wanna take little nibbles, soft, and then get more assertive, not aggressive. You're not trying to like conquer someone with your mouth. The best kissers are the ones who match exactly what the other person is doing. So take some notes, let your mouth take a back seat, and let the other person lead so that you guys can sort of build a kissing repertoire together. Got it? Ooh, I love you. We're gonna have a good time.